to my channel. Today I am bringing you my Sephora VIB sale um, haul. And I actually have a few things from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale that I went ahead and threw in here and I'll disclose which ones are which. But yeah, I'm so excited. I have two products that have not, is it two products? My dog is sniffing under my door like a little, like a little raptor. Okay, throwback to get that reference. Does anybody remember in Jurassic Park when I think it was Jurassic Park two? It was two. And uh, Jeff Goldblum, who I love to pieces. Jeff Goldblum and his daughter um, were like trapped in like this like kind of out shed um, like warehouse thing on the island with and those like raptors that had like, you know, I don't know, they were like just trying to get into it and they were like digging and stuff and like trying to get into the building where Jeff Goldblum's daughter was and um and so yeah anyways the raptors were like digging and they did like they breathed underneath like the shed and did like a kind of with like blue dust and all that while they were digging I don't know why but every time I hear my dog when she gets underneath the door like that and she does a kind of it reminds me of the raptors and I don't know why random that's why my mind works it is it is ridiculous sometimes but anyway so I'm trying to get comfortable I'm not in a comfortable mood today my insanity and workouts have been kicking my butt but anyway um so yeah I thought that was just a weird random thing there you go every time my dog weaves in the door I think of um Jurassic Park now that I've been rambling on for like a minute and a half <laughs> uh I'll go ahead and um show you guys what I got so I think I'll go ahead and start with just what I got from Ulta, just since there's just a few things in here. So I'll just go ahead and pull out what I have. I have all the stuff in here. Um, the things, the two things that I got from Sephora, um, I'll, well, I'll just do the Ulta stuff first. Gosh, I cannot keep my mind straight today. I'll do the Ulta stuff first, and then I'll get into Sephora, and I'll tell you what hasn't come yet. So there's that one. There's this one. And then this, this, and this. And then this, that all. Yeah. Why do I feel like I got more from Sephora than I thought I had? Huh, interesting. Okay, so the first thing that I got from Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Sale are is this Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Pinch. This is a liquid blush, and you guys, it is so pretty. I was kind of scared of liquid blushes because I didn't know how they would blend out on the skin. I've always wanted to try it though because I have dry skin, and I, I figured it would just look like would just be you know better. Obviously, not look as powdery on my skin. I'm obsessed. I have already used a good bit of this and I was like, you have to stop or you're going to run out of it. And I, I just got this. Like, I just got this. I've been using it constantly. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is such, I'm so happy I got this. I got this on, I think it was on sale for like five something. So happy. Highly recommend. I'm getting more shades of this too. You better believe it. Uh, the second thing that I got, okay, the, <laughs> I kicked myself in the butt for this one. But so I got the Lancome mineral cc cream in the shade two uh, this is the uv expert it's the new one um which i have the pause for two seconds i have the oh my chair spinning <sighs> struggles i have the oh my gosh get real with it okay i had the lancome um this is the i'm gonna try to pronounce this french um bean fall uh, you know what no i'm not gonna that was that was terrible Okay, it's the Beauty Balm tint. Okay, that, that's what that is, is from Lancome. I, I'm obsessed with this. I have this in the shade 3 Natural and then 2 Clair, which is like light fair. Um, so I have those, and I thought that this was going to be a dupe for that because they discontinued that. And my heart broke into pieces when I like found I was like, what? No. And actually, um, here recently, I went on Poshmark again, and I found, okay, what is going on with this hair? Is she just not, not wanting to cooperate? Get with it, girl. Um, I actually just found that somebody that was selling one of the three natural, oh my gosh, on Poshmark, so I bought that. But anyway, this was, I thought was supposed to be good, um, like a replacement for that one, right? So she's a little bit thicker, um, and she's a little more shiny, which is not a bad thing, because with my dry skin, I want something that makes my skin look hydrated and um, kind of glowy. I love luminous, glowy skin. So I figured that this would be more, um, you know, would kind of give me that luminosity. Um, and it does. It's just a lot thicker than I anticipated. And um, it's a little bit darker. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in this light. It, I know it looks like a good match right now. But trust me, when I'm looking here, it's, it's a little more pink toned. If I had a tan, it would be like perfect, like spot on match. It really would. 
Now I'm kicking myself for this because I ordered one and then I thought I ordered shade number one and I didn't. I ordered two number twos. So I have to be tanned for a long time in order to use these up. But I now I have an air and spare kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put her down in the stairs drawer. By the way, here's the second one I got of that one. Anyway, so it's a little bit thicker, a little more shiny. I do like it, but again, I'm gonna have to have a tan when I use this. I want I really wanted to get the shade one. Um and I don't know, I don't know why I guess I just clicked this number two back in back. I have no idea what I did, but I I goofed up and so anyway, there's that one. Um, okay, moving on. Something that I always get from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale are Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I got three shades because I'm so obsessed with them. And I, I use Tarte Shape Tape on a daily basis because I have such dark circles. I feel it's one of the only concealers that actually covers up my dark circles. And I, it's hydrating for me. I love it. I don't feel it like creases on me. I love it. It's, it's my holy grail concealer. And I only use like a little bit, but tag gum does it cover up my dark circles. And y'all, I'm not joking. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five already in my backup store. And now I have three more to add to it to make it eight. I do go through these because I do use these, like I said, almost on a daily basis. So of course, when these are 27 bucks, you can get them on sale for half off. Why wouldn't you? And now I have a backup of in my drawer. So I'm go ahead and just toss those down in my backups because you know, obviously I don't need them right now. I've got, I've got three open at the moment, but I use all three shades. Um, four, sorry. I just checked my drawer and I was like, oops. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So the last two things that I got from the Ulta 21 days of Boutte sale, um, this one, so this one was not part of the, um, beauty sale, but this is the Tarte, um, Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the limited edition shade B day Bay. So the packaging on this, I was just like, oh my God, it's so stunning. It's sparkly. I love it. Now the shade is like, oh, it's such a pretty peachy pinky coral. And again, it's matte. I don't really have a whole lot of matte blushes because I prefer more luminous blushes, but I do love the formula of this because I know that it lasts forever on the skin. Um, and so, yeah, I, I love this. This is such a gorgeous shade. I love this. And it's so like light and I, I oh, it just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I highly recommend this blush. I think they still have it um, on the website. So if you can get your hands on this, this is really nice. Okay, the last thing I got from Ulta, which was part of the sale, was the Cover FX. This is a monochromatic blush duo, and this is in the, in the shade Soft Peach. I when these first came out, when these first came out, I was like, man, I want those so bad. And I was gonna get Pink Dahlia too, but I like more peachy shades for my skin. I've already used it a couple times, as you can tell. But this is beautiful. These are very pigmented, and a little bit goes a long way. I do have it on my cheeks today, but a little bit goes a long way, and I love this I'm obsessed um but you know what I'm glad that I waited because things that are on sale if I'd have bought this when it was full price at like 32 yes I would have loved it but it's even sweeter that I love it and it was half off you know what I mean can you blame me so those are the things that I got from Ulta I'm super excited okay so now on to things from Sephora I spent a little bit more at Sephora because the things that I got were a little bit more pricey but I, I am a VIB Rouge member so I did get 20% off which yeah, it means you gotta spend quite a bit of money every year to get the VIB Rouge, but to me it's worth it because then I shop the sales. Um, and um, so yeah, I just I think I think it's worth it looking at my stuff. All right, so the two things that I have that aren't here yet, um, it's just taking a little bit longer because I, I ordered them like different separate orders. But um, is the Fenty bronzer? I got that one in the shade Butter Biscuit because I was gonna get Macchiato. Um, macchiato is slightly darker, but I figured, because I have with the Soleil Tan Day Chanel that I have, that's very much kind of like really warm, and I wanted something that I could use on like the fall to winter time that wasn't so like really warm for like, because that to me is more of like a summertime cream bronzer, and I wanted more of a cooler toned fall lighter bronzer kind of thing. I think that one's going to be awesome. I'm super excited for that one. I heard it's really emollient and blends really well. So I got that one in Butter Biscuit, and then what else did I get? Um... I got another, ah, the Roger Rabbit and, uh, okay, so this was the Ciate and uh, Jessica Rabbit collection. So here's the thing. I already have one of these. It, I got the highlighter, okay? This is one of my favorites that I, I love to death, okay? And it's beautiful packaging. I mean, is that not gorgeous? But it's the, it's the Roger Rabbit in the shade Roger Darling. Um, it's a collab. And the shade on this is kind of like this really light, pinky, 
beautiful. This kind of goes on very smooth on the skin. I love it. So I actually got a backup because I, I happened to have like saw this on the website and it was on sale for like half off on Sephora. And then with a the discount, I was like, oh my gosh. And since it's one of my favorite highlighters, I was like, you know, and I was, I've been trying to sparingly use it, even though you can tell, like I've, I've used down quite a bit of the, like the pattern on here for her. I've used it quite a bit and I was been so scared to actually like use it a lot because I don't want it to, like, I don't want to use it all the way up. Um, so I got a backup of it. So when that gets here, it's going straight in the drawer, but I got a backup of this. But then I got the Fenty bronzer. So that was the other thing that I got. Okay. So go ahead and close those things. All right. So now getting into the stuff that I actually bought. Um, so first up, we'll just do this one. First up, I got, so you guys know the hair care. I, um, you might not know, but there's a hair care brand called Way. And um, it's, I had the leave-in conditioner. Now, I first got this leave-in conditioner from BoxyCharm. And I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. It's a, it's like a leave-in conditioner. And it, it smells like a tropical beach, like a floral tropical beach. And it's, what are the notes on this? I think the notes are, it's like jasmine. I think it's like jasmine and um, pistachio. Which I love those spells because the if you know the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro has that pistachio scent. I love pistachios. I've realized I love pistachio scents. Um, but this way hair care to leave in conditioner has this really kind of beautiful, florally tropical, sexy smell to it, right? Well, you guys, way made it into a perfume. I was like, um, I'm sorry. Hold up, hold up. Hang on. That smell that I've been obsessing over in my hair care that I have to put in my hair just to smell it. You, you put this in a perfume and I can actually wear it on my body now. And I can smell like this all the time. Like it's not just on my hair, but it's on my skin now too. <sighs> I was like, get. And this is really cool. Like it's like magnetic lid. So it just kind of like, it's so cool. I love it. But y'all, it just. If you like floral beachy kind of sexy smells, this would be perfect. Oh, no, oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, this, this is my new favorite summertime scent. I love it. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm geeking out hardcore right now because I'm just like, I blew my mind that they put it into a perfume and I was like, <laughs> it's like they read my mind or something. Okay, moving on. I'm being a little weird here. Okay, next up we have, so, Tatcha came out with the liquid silk canvas. So I have the original silk canvas and actually pause for two seconds while I grab it for you guys because I want you to see how much I've used of it, right? So again, sparingly trying to use this and I've hit pan as you can see because I do really love this primer. Um, I use it quite often. It's very smoothing. Um, Smells really good. It's very gentle on the skin. I love this, but I was kind of like, man, no, great. It's like 52 bucks, right? So is this one, but I've heard this one is better for people that have more dry skin. It's more hydrating. And I was like, oh. I was like, okay, if I love this one, like I know how much I love this one. And this was kind of more for drier skin. It's a little more hydrating. I was like, oh, I've got to love this one, right? I do. I love this one to pieces. I think this one is slightly more pore filling. That's the only catch. Although I still feel this one makes my skin look really smooth and um, yeah, I, I love this. It gives such a good canvas to the face, you know what I mean? It kind of just evens everything out. Again, this one I will, I will actually take a little, just a little bit of this and just pack it right in like the bigger pore areas, but I'll use this on the rest of the face. Love it, you guys, love it. 52 bucks, it's expensive, but I got it on a sale, so I was like, I, I gotta try it and I, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I love it, okay. Moving on. The next thing that I got was a little minis kit. So here's the thing. I I don't really have a whole lot of Fenty Beauty stuff, right? Okay. So I I got my BoxyCharm Premium this past month. Oh my gosh, my nose is itching. Again. Again, as always, again. Okay. I got a BoxyCharm uh, Premium this past, was it this past month? Maybe the month before? I'm sorry. She's just acting up. She's acting a fool right now. And it was full of, it was in collaboration with Fenty Beauty. And I was like, oh my gosh, because I had actually never tried anything from Fenty Beauty at the at that time. I've always wanted to. I thought that like, okay, this nose is just acting all kinds of, sorry. Um, I had gotten a bunch of stuff from the, the box, whatever, but I never actually tried anything from Fenty Beauty 
ever. And I was like, man, I really want to try to like their you know, uh, the you know universal lip balms, uh, like the gloss bombs. I was like, I really want to try those. And I was like, the Kilowatt highlighters look amazing. I was like, I just, I don't know, I hadn't actually made this like step yet to purchase something. Well, then I got the boxy charm, and I was like, holy mo, we get to try everything. And I got the Moroccan spice eyeshadow palette. It's okay. Like, I wasn't a big fan, but the one of the things I was excited about was the I got the Fenty Beauty Diamond uh, or is a Diamond Milk um, gloss balm. This she a thick gal, right? And she she smells uh so beautiful, kind of like the lip smackers. If you remember lip smackers back in the day, smells like lip smackers. Um, it, it's beautiful. Now the only thing that I that I don't I can't wear this on a daily basis because it's so like punchy and like sparkly now for like honey going out or something or occasions or all day pop this in the center of the mouth it just be beautiful i love this gloss bomb and then other thing that i got was the kilowatt um highlighter in the shade trophy wife now if you know what trophy wife looks like if you don't i'll go ahead and show you she gold like honey she gold I can't really wear that on my face like normal, like as a, an everyday kind of highlight. Now I have been using this on my eyes and I actually do really like it on my eyes for kind of like a moment kind of thing. But I was like, I want something then for, cause those, those two things are beautiful, but I want something that's a little more wearable every day. So I decided to get this little mini set from Fenty. So it's the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Hustle Baby and then the uh, Fenty Mini Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. I love these, you guys. Oh my gosh, this little thing. Huh? It's kind of like this kind of peachy gold kind of shifty reflect. It's beautiful. I love this, but man, does it pack a punch. I gotta use like a very light hand with this, but it is so gorgeous. And then the Fenty Glow. I'm sure most people have, have tried this, but this gloss, you guys, is whoo! She's thick. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. I love these. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And they're a mini, so I know that I can actually get through these as opposed to like, because let's, let's, let's be honest, you guys. <laughs> we'll be honest. This highlighter, there is no way I'm ever going to get through this because it's just so big. It's huge. And especially if I'm using it on my eyes. But even as a highlighter, I don't know if I'd be able to get through all that. But neither here nor there. Um, I got the minis, so I know I'll be able to go through those. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Five more products left. Okay, so this one. I was super excited about so I I like kind of more luminous powders right and I, I my sister-in-law actually has this um, and I saw it and I was like ooh it, it intrigued me right so I started doing more research and my favorite powder ever ever that has obviously been discontinued because everything that I like gets discontinued and that's just how it goes for me but the Urban Decay this is the Lumi the Illuminizer powder the translucent powder um, I love this powder. It was my favorite. I actually found somebody on Poshmark that had one that was brand new that I was like, I went ahead and bought it because it's my favorite. I tried to find a dupe for that one, right? Because it's just so lightweight and so lightly pressed and it just looks so beautiful in the skin. I was trying to find a dupe, right? So then I've like invested in the hourglass powders. These are beautiful, but not, they're still different. You know, they're not quite as like that powder is, you know what I mean? Um, so they're gorgeous, but not like that powder. So I was like, maybe this powder will be a little bit better. But then I was I was gonna get the lightest shade of this powder, but I decided that I wanna get the shade that more matches my skin tone. So this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Um, and I got this one in the shade two. So it looks a little dark for my skin tone, right? Kind of like it looks like it's a little bit warmer. But when I actually apply it to the skin, I actually have it on today. But when I apply it to the skin, it doesn't look dark at all. It's it's really, really pretty. Um, and it's very light kind of texture, same as as the Urban Decay powder. And it just has a nice, like, I don't know if you can really tell, but it has a nice sheen to it. And it's it's along that lightweight texture. So I think after the Urban Decay powder is all used up, I think that this might be a good replacement for me for it, especially as I'm getting older kind of thing. I just, I really love this powder. It was 32 or 34, I think. So, um, but it's, it's beautiful. I really love it. Like I said, my sister-in-law had it and I saw it and I was like, Ooh, and I read it and it said sheer candle glow. And I was like, that sounds like something that I would really like. So I do. I really love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So but it's a shade lighter than this one. And it was like, yeah, I could definitely see that first setting underneath the eyes, but yeah. So anyway, we got this one and I'm happy with it. 
All right, so I have four more products. This one is, I think I actually got this in the shade, like one shade too dark. But again, I am lighter complexion right now. I'm assuming once the sun comes out, I can actually get out in the sun. I'll be more tan. It'll be totally fine. But I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, um, and this is in the shade 3 Light Medium. Okay, so first off the bat, I don't like the smell. It smells like paint. Okay, so I thought, I was like, come on, Charlotte girl, like, you make some bomb products, like, why you get, put, you guys smell like paint. Anyway, that was the first negative. Second negative was that it is slightly too dark for my skin. And I picked the shade light medium because the first time that I ever went to a Charlotte Tilbury counter in London, they were like, oh, number three would be perfect for you kind of thing. And it matched me at the time, but I think that was also when I had a little bit of a tan on. So I went with, like, what I remembered in the past, which was number three, but I actually think number two for my current skin would be better, but... Again, for summertime though, which is where I'm going to probably be using this the most, it's going to look beautiful. And I put it on the other day and looked stunning. I love this. It's got such a really pretty radiance and you can use this as a primer or you can use this as like a, a highlight to add to your cheeks. Um, but it's, it's beautiful. I really do like it. And it's, again, it's got a kind of peachy kind of undertone to it. It's, it's gorgeous. I love it. I really do. Um, I just think the shade is slightly too dark for me at the moment. Just a little more peachy, but again, with the tan. Sure, it'll be fine. Okay, last three products that I got. I was, I've been wanting these for so long, you guys, like so long. And I'm, I'm beside myself that I actually got them now because um, I haven't been able to put them down. And it's an issue because I want to use other things in my collection. But since I've had these, I'm like, they're my favorite. Like, I can't put them down. Like, what have I got myself into? Now I have all these products I have to throw away. No, <laughs> but these have changed the game for me. These are the Charlotte Tilbury magic wands. Oh my gosh. Why have I waited so stinking long to try these? I got the contour wand in fair medium and everybody, okay, okay. First I like the look, little squeezy things. Okay. It looks super dark on my skin like, and that's just like a light swatch right there. Okay. When I actually like squeeze it, it look can look kind of like really dark brown, but it blends out so effortlessly and gives it this nice shadow to the face. Love it. I don't have to, it doesn't make my skin look like I have anything heavy on it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Revolutionary. And then I got the Glowgasm Beauty Wand Blush Light in the shade Peach or Pink Gasm. I was going to get Peach Gasm, but I chose Pink Gasm instead. Again, with this one, put it on right beside it. And I actually kind of like use most of it. I haven't squeezed anything. This isn't like, this is not from like, I haven't squeezed anything else up. This is just residual from what I have been using. Just again, really can like share it out and make it look pretty and then then I got the beauty light wand easy highlighter in the shade spotlight and there's a little bit more on that tip but oh my gosh these three products together just they make the skin look naturally beautiful effortless they're so easy to blend oh my gosh and I was like these are my new favorite travel companions totally again assuming that we'll ever get to travel again like we have been but Oh my gosh, they're so easy to just, they're liquid products. You just throw them on. You can use a sponge. You can use a brush. You can use your fingers. They're amazing. And they make my skin, like, they don't look, make it look heavy at all. Like, or packed down with any type of, like, powders or anything. It's just beautiful. And it gives this, size. I can't, I'm starting over my words because I'm, like, trying to find the exact words I want to say. They're just beautiful. I highly recommend them. The formula, like I said, for beginners Dude, you swipe that on your face and it blends out like a dream. It does, it literally does it for you. I'm not joking. And I know I sound like super excited about it because cause I'm, I'm, I really am. It's just, oh, it's blown my mind. I'm, I can't believe it. But so anyway, I feel like I've gone on enough for like 20 something minutes. But anyway, so that is all that I got from the Sephora VIB sale and the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I hope you guys enjoyed. When the Fenty bronzer comes in, I'm actually going to do a video uh, just by itself. It's going to be a short video, but I still want to review it. Um, I think it's going to be... I'm excited. I really, Like I said, I only got the shade Bullet Biscuit, but um, if I like it like a lot, then I might get Macchiato as well for more of a deeper when I'm more tan, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazzy YouTube stuff that you do. Hit that bell down in the, the bottom somewhere down along there for notifications of when I upload anything else. It burped again. I swear, I think every video I'm going to either burp, have a nose itch, or a combination, or yawn. 
things that we're not going to edit out because I don't want to edit them out because that's not for real. If you're sitting in front of me and we're having a conversation and talking, I'm going to be burping. I'm going to be yawning. I'm going to be itching my nose. I don't feel it. I need to edit those out. But anyway, that's not the point. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys very, very soon. Please stay safe. Stay indoors. Keep washing your hands. Keep taking your vitamin C, all that jazz. And I will see you guys very, very soon for my uh, concealer declutter video. Stay tuned for that drawer. All right, bye.